it's it's about sports and fun not only sports but sports and fun instead of talking about uh, legs or arms or, or or whatever disability people have uh, it's all about sports and it's sport is about fun and being together and uh, socialize with each other and have fun with each other I was um, the coach uh, of the national women's team in sitting volleyball of the Netherlands, uh, the country I am from. And uh, I was the coach for uh, almost seven years. I coached, uh, for instance, world championships, European championships and the Paralympic Games of Rio de Janeiro in 2016, which was a great experience and a great honor to be there. So uh, I feel privileged uh, to be in uh, uh, the sitting, vo uh, sitting volleyball uh, surroundings and being, having been a, a coach all that time. During my uh, time as a head coach of the uh, Netherlands team, I met uh, Branko Mihorko and uh, he is from Slovenia and now he's the chairman of Paravolle Europe. And uh, when I uh, quit with uh, my coaching uh, job in the, the Netherlands, he asked me if I would be able and I would be uh, uh, prepared uh, for uh, yeah, things like this to help other countries uh, developing the, uh, the sports, the sports sitting volleyball. Uh, so um, uh, I said yes because uh, uh, I liked to, to be uh, in the sitting volleyball uh, international uh, uh, experiences and uh, help other countries and help other people and other coaches. Uh, oh, Paravolley um, is a sport uh, in which, uh, uh, as the word already says, it's a, a Paralympic uh, uh, sports and that means that there's a lot of rules and there's a lot of things you have to uh, um, you have to do because uh, when you want to play uh, the official tournaments but uh, in most countries, as in my country, and we hope in a lot of other countries, uh, paravolley is uh, sitting volleyball uh, and uh, volleyball uh, forms for uh, people with disabilities. And uh, disabilities, uh, it's not important what kind of disabilities uh, people have because uh, we would like the, the sports to be played by everybody who wants to play and everybody who can play. Uh, and in my country, in the Netherlands, uh, sitting volleyball is played with women and men and people with disabilities and people with uh, non-abled uh, uh, or uh, no disabilities at all. So abled body persons and uh, disability persons. Yes, uh, in the Netherlands uh, there's uh, three levels of uh, uh, where uh, clubs from cities are playing. Uh, at the highest level there's uh, an official Dutch championship, so uh, uh, there are competitions and there are tournaments in our country and uh, there's about 20 teams in the Netherlands that play uh, and train very often for sitting volleyball. And as I said, uh, also once a year there's a big tournament uh, in which uh, there's a uh, a team th that's becoming the national champion of sitting volleyball in the Netherlands. Uh, I have learned that uh, sports can have a real big impact for people with disabilities because of integration uh, and I think sitting volleyball is a perfect way uh, to integrate uh, people with or without disabilities because once you go sit on the floor there is no difference between people at all anymore. Everybody has the same uh, rules and everybody has the same game. Uh, so uh, I, th I have learned from all my players I had in all those years that uh, it's really important for them uh, to integrate and to, uh, uh, to have their uh, fun and have their um, experiences in sports. Especially when people uh, in the society who are not familiar with disabilities uh, can see it, can see what happens in sports and can see maybe on television or maybe uh, uh, on tournaments uh, and see uh, how, how it works and that uh, the only thing uh, that's different is that uh, they had an accident or something or they were born with uh, something uh, we don't have. But uh, I think it's very important to show it that uh, it's regular people, it's normal people and they can do anything.
Well, I don't know exactly. Uh, I think in my country uh, there's a lot of uh, things, so uh, I'm not quite aware or, uh, of all the places where the decisions are made, but I think for disabled persons or deaf persons or blind persons it's, uh, uh, it's very well uh, possible to be involved. Uh, but um, uh, I think that our government and our cities give uh, enough opportunities uh, for them to speak and for them to come up and for them to be involved. But uh, you cannot stay at home and wait till somebody does it for you. You have to be um, you have to uh, go out by yourself and, and look and find. But then I'm sure in my country that people are hurt. Parafolle Europe was asked uh, uh, for uh, people to, un to, to promote and to help and to uh, support uh, this project. And then uh, uh, Parafolle Europe asked me uh, if I could uh, join and if I could uh, 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 support this, this project. And uh, my first reaction was yes, I, I would like that. I, first of all, uh, to be honest, I've never been in Greece before, so uh, for me it was interesting uh, to uh, come to Thessaloniki uh, once in my life. Uh, and uh, yeah, of course, I like to be uh, involved in project, uh, projects with sitting volleyball and support other countries in which the sitting volleyball is less known than in my own country. I think it's, uh, it's a nice sport for everybody to join. Maybe we have to change a little bit uh, about rules or the, the, the use of a ball, but uh, in general everybody can. You need a little, uh, uh, you have to be a little, be a little bit able for motor skills. You have some motor skills you need, you have to be, have some balance, but in, in general speaking everybody can join. Uh, we have to uh, try to uh, make some, some games uh, and make some rules and make some things uh, workable uh, for, uh, for other countries uh, to promote it and to go back to their country and help the coaches to develop and promote the sports uh, throughout their own country with people with disabilities, integration with uh, people without disabilities.